Hello Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Remember that time is fluid, so this could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future and roles can be reversed. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Full disclosure, this is a combined deck from two oracles, two, excuse me, two oracle decks that I've combined together, the Enchanted Map Oracle cards and the Energy Oracle cards, and I have made it smaller. So I've taken out um, some cards that maybe were not as clear or didn't have anything to do with like romance. So just full disclosure, I did that so that I could be able to shuffle them a little bit better because um, it was just too big of a deck, but I love them both combined, so I'm just gonna go with it. All right, let's see what we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, oh. All right, so I got three cards already. Oh no, four. I'm just gonna take them all. Let's see what we have. Wow, Angel of Love, starting off strong. Storm warning. Okay, so maybe I got a little ahead of myself there. <laughs> Mountain. This is all about obstacles, trying to find a different path around something. And then we have rock bottom. What is happening, Aries? I really am feeling strongly that there is something headed your way that's not going to be easy. With rock bottom, I'm thinking of the tower. I'm thinking of a crumbling of a foundation here. But, but I do also have Angel of Love. So let's see what the tarot has to say. I am so curious now. I've had two pretty crazy readings with Aquarius and Sagittarius. So I'm just going with it. Spirit, please, messages from my Aries. What love messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? As you can see, the Tower and King of Pentacles here when I split the deck. What messages do you have for my Aries, please, Spirit? What does Aries need to know in regards to love? Wow, I am just... Rock bottom. Rock bottom in what? Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck there. What messages for Aries, please? I, I just cannot wait to see. King of Swords, okay. Someone's getting to the bottom of something, communicating clearly. Whoa. Have the lovers. Someone could be approaching you with an offer of love here with lovers, an angel of love. And the empress. Wow. Okay. There's definitely love here. I feel like someone's going to communicate their feelings towards you and have nine of cups under the deck and you're going to be very happy Aries, but I feel like other someone else won't be. I'm really getting the sense that someone is going to blow up. <laughs> I just, I just feel that very strongly that, that I feel like <laughs> either you have to hit rock bottom first before this new love begins, or there's something coming your way that you have to get ready for and you have to take it on as a couple. Anything else for my Aries? What messages do we have, Spirit? Well, I'm just going to take them. The world, okay, so that makes sense. That's all about a new cycle. The star, okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or is this just something you've really been wanting? And I have the Three of Cups. Well, there's the storm warning. Usually three of cups for me is not like third party right away, but I am getting the sense that this might be a third party situation because I just can't shake this feeling that someone's not going to be very happy about something. Bottom of the deck, four of wands. So this is already off to a great start for you, Aries. I'm trying to figure out wh why we got these Oracle cards here. So let's see. Let's clarify and get more information. Spirit, please help me clarify for Aries. If this is resonating with you so far, please leave me a comment and let me know what is going on here. 
why a storm warning? Why rock bottom? Why obstacles? Are you with someone you're not supposed to be? Let's start with this King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here for Aries? Why is this King of Swords here? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm right. This is definitely a third party situation. Aries, you should have told me. No, I was kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. Two of Cups under the deck. I feel like there's, there's real love here. There's a real connection here. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. But there is something. Look what just came out. OMG. Empress. Mother or wife figure. Growth. Someone, someone wants to build something with someone, wants to grow something. But I feel like, yeah, like I feel like doing this is going to piss people off. Why am I getting that? Five of Swords on the deck. Someone's losing here. Someone's winning and someone's losing in this, in this spread here. Two of Wands under the deck after that. Tell me about the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius. Whoa. Just going to take all of these. I'm not fighting with my cards today. I've already decided. So you could be dealing with a water. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, a water sign. But more I'm seeing air sign here with the Gemini and Aquarius. I have the Empress twice. Okay, so clarifying lovers, I have six of cups, three of wands, eight of cups, four of wands. Okay, so this is very clear to me. Some of you have been waiting for someone from your past or you've met someone with a past life connection and you're walking away from something towards them. And it's not going to be an easy road. I can tell you that right now. However, this is love. You are risking it. You're risking it for this love. There's Ace of Pentacles under the deck. Tell me about the Empress. Tell me about the Empress here. I cannot wait to get to the world and the Three of Cups. <laughs> Tell me about the Empress here for Aries. Emperor. Yeah, this is definitely an Emperor and an Empress getting together here. I think that's why lovers under the deck again why the emperor there's you aries sign of aries i love when you guys show up in your own readings aries have you found your empress or someone with empress energy hmm? someone you want to grow with possibly have a family with tower i knew it i knew it didn't i tell you guys at the beginning of this reading i said Something is off here. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, so I'm looking at this a little bit differently here with the tower. It could go two ways. Either this is a married couple and there is a tower coming down. Or it could be a long-term commitment. Or the fact that you guys are getting together is going to cause an unexpected shakeup. There's going to be a crumbling of something here. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world for Aries, please. This is the culmination. It's coming around full circle here. Whoa. Knight of Swords. I feel like this is happening quickly. The world is someone that has gone through every card in the deck of the Major Arcana and they're ready for a new cycle. They've learned all the lessons that they needed to learn. Why is the world here? Two of Wands came out again. Ten of Wands under the deck. Okay, so definitely Knight of Pentacles right after that with the Chariot. Okay. Again, something's ending here for an offer to come in to move forward. Something else is going to move forward here. I feel like you're ending a cycle or someone's ending a cycle here. And it started off with this message that showed you the potential of something, the possibilities of something. 
if this is resonating with you please let me know down in the comments what is going on <laughs> tell me about this star thank you three cards here yep 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 fool ten of swords eight of swords there, there is an ending for something new to begin clearly and it's it's definitely making you feel a little paralyzed a little doubtful you know that this is not going to be easy but you're still going to do it aries there's you by the way with the fool you're still going to go for this because this is your wish you're going to heal from a situation here because you're doing you're 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 taking a leap of faith Knight of Cups under the deck. Tell me about the Three of Cups. This reading is just so clear to me. I just, the minute I saw those Oracle cards, I was like, okay. The Sun came out, okay. Why the Three of Cups? Magician. What? Oh my gosh. Hold on. What else about this Three? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to take these two. Oh, no, there's more. I'm going to take all these. Three of Cups. I got Temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. Healing Energy again. Page of Swords. Again, spying on each other. Doing research. Judgment. This is definitely divine stepping in here. Someone's had an awakening, an epiphany, or just is re resurrecting something or making something right again. Magician, you've manifested this and it's because it makes you happy. very interesting this could be a reunion of some sort because i do have the six of cups so instead of a third party situation it could just be a reunion king of swords over here this is somebody that was ready to get this started they mean business here with three of pentacles and the empress but again i really do feel there's like possibly a third party situation or just getting back with your ex or something or getting together with this person is like a tower moment but you don't care. i really get the sense i don't want to say you don't care but i really get the sense that you're focused on what makes you happy aries and i feel like this person makes you happy but be careful because there's going to be there's going to be a long road ahead of you with this person so I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed or commented to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm blown away by your support. Um, if this resonated with you, please let me know down in the comments. If it didn't, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. But check out your other signs because sometimes they can resonate more. All right, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much. 